Good morning, everyone. My name is Alicia, and I'm going to be giving the webinar today. Today, we're going to see what we see. What is it that we get to see when we go to the overview of a property? The overview is the place where we see all the information of the properties. So let's log in. Remember, if you have a question during the webinar at any moment, please feel free to type in your question in the chat section or the question and answer section, and I'll try to answer as we go along. Okay, so here I'm in the control panel in our ReFX account, in my ReFX account, I'm going to go to search, do a little search so we can get some properties and from there, we can go to the overview and show you that. So here I am in my search panel. I'm going to look for properties. Let's select for sale, pre foreclosed, probate. Let's see if we come up a uh, single family. Let's click on search and see that if that brings us something. Okay. Here I have my results. These are all properties that are for sale, that are pre foreclosed, and I selected probate, so they should be all probate. So I'm going to click on one of them, and that's how I go to the overview. From my results, if I click on any place here on any of these properties, that will take me to the overview. This is the overview of my property. In the overview, I have all the information available for the property. I have the address. This property is for sale, so I have the information of days on the market. This is a single family. This is the status of the property, pending, pre foreclosed for sale. The pending is, this is a property that is for sale and it's pending because it does have a it's it does have a pending contract right now so this is the reflex value i'll tell you a little bit of what that is list price market value market media number of bedrooms and bathrooms square footage built year and then i have certain information down here. I have the public records information, lot size, gross area, living area, uh, land value, taxable value, folio number, subdivision. I have the legal description, the sales history, the owner's information, and if you have professional dialer, you'll have owner relatives phone number. These are phone numbers that are registered under the address of the property. From here, from this uh, detail tab, if you look here on this right side and folio number, you see that the folio number is highlighted in blue. That allows me to go directly to the information on this property and the appraiser. So if I click on that, those blue numbers, that will open another tab that will show me the information on this property directly in the appraiser. So this is the property. I have all the information on the appraiser on this property directly. Click yes, clicking on the link. Same thing applies for the tax information. As you see, the tax information is highlighted in blue also here. So if I click on that, that will open a tab with all the tax information, whether it's tax delinquent or not. If it's tax delinquent, you'll see the unpaid taxes. This one in particular is not tax delinquent. So you see all the tax information here. So that is in the overview, in the details tab, I have the direct link to the appraiser here, clicking on the blue highlighted numbers of the folio number. 
and the tax information, clicking in the tax highlighted blue tax information legend. As I said, that will take you directly to those sites. Okay, what do I have next? In my case, the next tab I have is listing details. Not all of you will show listing details. Uh, to have listing details, first of all, the property has to be for sale. And you have to have activated a realtor's permission. That is, if you have a realtor's license or one of your partners or associates has a realtor license, uh, give us a call and provide us with the number of the realtor's license and we can activate additional features in your account with no additional cost. This is one of those features, listing details. Uh, listing details will show you information directly from MLS. This information on this property is directly from MLS. However, if you do not have a realtor's license, don't worry because you will have, the tab will not be called listing details. If you have done a search and you have seen it, it's called additional links. You do have information, so really don't worry about it. Instead of being called listing details, it's called additional links and you have exactly that additional links that will show you additional information on the property. In this case, I have the realtor.com. If I click on it, that will take me to, again, another tab with all the information on this property on realtor.com. As you see, you have all the information of the listed property, and you can see additional things. Oh, this one doesn't have, only has one. Okay, so if you have the realtor's license activated, you will see listing details and see directly here some additional information on the property. If you do not, you'll have additional links, uh, usually realtor.com or IDX. That will take you to another tab and show you additional information on the property. Next, you have comparables. What are the comparables? The comparables are properties by default, Reifex takes into account to use as comparables, properties that have been sold in the last 12 months within a 0.5 mile radius and that are 10% more or less the same square foot as the property that you're looking at. So these are all properties that were sold in the last 12 months in the area. If you look at the map, you'll see the green one is the subject property, the one that you're looking at, this one, 1889 Northwest 6th Avenue. And the ones around are properties that were sold in the last 12 months. Based on these properties, the system will calculate market value. So you have the, the market value on this property is 261. As I told you before, I was going to tell you that later what this reFX value is, and that's precisely this. The reFX value is the market value calculated based on the default parameters that reFX uses to calculate market value. That is 10% more or less the same square footage within a 0.5 mile radius and that are have been sold in the last 12 months. You can change those parameters if you want. For example, let's say I want properties that have been sold in the last six months and not the last 12 months. If I click here in this little funnel icon that says filter, filter comps, I will get this little window where I can change those default parameters. All of these are single family because I'm looking at single family. Uh, one little 
uh, note, side note that I would have, I'll, I'd like you to know. The REFX value and the market value, REFX will calculate only for properties that are single family properties, condos, towns, and villas. REFX will not calculate market value for commercial properties, uh, vacant lands, um, or multi-family multi properties. So market value in REFX is only calculated on properties that are single family or condos, towns, and villas. Multi-family, commercial, vacant lands, and mobile homes will not have market value calculated or you will have here an NA does not apply, not available, sorry. No, not available. Okay, so single family, select the distance as I told you, by default, the system will calculate it based on 0.5 mile radius. I will not change that in this at this time, but you can change it if you want. Um, gross area, living area, as I said, REFX cal uh, takes 10% more or less the same square footage. Year built, this one was built in 1962. I could say I want properties that were built more or less within five years of that one or just leave it as it is if it's not something I want to filter out. Closing date, this is the one I was talking about when I opened this originally. As I said, default is 12 months. Property sold in the last 12 months. I want to put that their property sold in the last six months. This one does not have a pool, so I could say, no, I don't want in my comparables any property that does have a pool, so just put no here. Waterfront, this is not a waterfront, so let's, this in this particular one, that will not affect it, but let's say I want prop, let's say I, since this is not a waterfront property, so I don't want my comparables to be altered by a property that is a waterfront. So let's put no here. This is a three bedroom, one bath. So let's say I want only properties and my comparables that are the same. So let's put bedrooms equal three and bathrooms equal one. There. Uh, same subdivision, yes or no, I'll leave it as that. Okay, so I change the parameters and I click on filter. I'll click on filter. So now, as you see, uh, many of the properties I had in comparables before were taken off my list. So I would have to recalculate. So I select them all again and click on filter. No, sorry. <laughs> not filter, click and calculate here in this little calculator icon and that recalculated and actually came out the same. Sometimes it does happen. Uh, remember, this is not a an average, this is a medium. So the system will take the medium price the medium sold price of the properties available in your comparables. Then I have active comps. Active comps are, once again, properties within a 0.5 mile radius that are 10% more or less the same square footage. And in this case, these are properties that are active for sale at this moment. And based on these ones, the system will calculate active value. And again, you are able to change the parameters just as the same as we did uh, with comparables. We can change parameters here. Uh, listing, in this case, it wouldn't be sold date, but listing date, but I could change the distance. I can change the living area. I can change the 
year built as again uh, waterfront pool number of bedrooms and bathrooms and once i do and filter i select here and recalculate so we have that market value is calculated based on property sold and active value calculated based on properties active for sale at this moment the rest of the tabs are tabs for your reference distress comps are properties that are in distress underwater upside down in the area so just so you know how the properties around the property that you're looking at are as far as depths and foreclosure and all those things for example, I have that this property has a market value of 261 and it has a known depth of 307. This one has a 252 market value with a known depth of 277. So these are properties that are completely upside down. If I want more information on any of these properties, all I have to do is click on them and that will take me to the overview of the one of the one that I clicked on. Here, as I did with the previous property, I'll have all the information, comparables, active comps, distress comps, rental comps. And after I see all the information and have everything I want to know about this one, I can go back to the overview of the one that I'm actually working with right now then i have rental comps this is again for your reference if the idea of buying the property is to put it for rent this way you can have an idea of how much is the list price for rent in the area for properties similar to the one that you're looking at so as you see the list price for rent these are regular rentals those rentals that you do for six months, a year, two years, whatever. And as you see, the list price for rent in this area is pretty much 2000 something. Then you have BNB comps. BNB comps are the comparables of similar properties in the area that are being rented per day, vacational rentals, BNB rentals, however you want to call it. Um, in this case, you will know the average daily rate for properties that are being rented per day in the area. That is, again, your for reference if the idea of buying the property for you is to place the property as a BNB. In this case, the average daily rate in the area is 240. Let me see if it calculates. Okay, then I have the foreclosure tab. Remember when we did our search, I selected pre foreclosed. So that's why I have a foreclosure tab. In the foreclosure tab, I'll have all the information on the foreclosure. The case number, the known debt, the actual status. The system will have pre-foreclosed properties. These are properties that this lease pendant has been filed, the owner has been notified, but there is no auction date set up yet. When they're foreclosed, you will have properties that there is an auction date set up that's either coming up soon or it could be that in your search for properties foreclosed you come across properties that have already been auctioned out but the process of updating the information or closing the foreclosure on public records is not completely finished and that's why you'll still find them here uh, the mortgager owner uh, reverse mortgage funding reaffix entry date this is the date that this foreclosure information came into the data of reaffix file date is actually when the pre foreclosed becomes public this particular property has not been sold yet 
The planning and what information is available for the property, you'll have more or less tabs here. Let's look for another property in my results. Let's click on this one to see if I have more information. Yes. As you see, I still have details, listing details, because again, this is a property that is for sale, comparables, active comparables, distress comps, rental comps, BNB comps. In this case, I have mortgage information. This, if you have more than one mortgage, you'll have mortgage one and mortgage two. And the mortgage amount that you see here will be always the initial mortgage amount. You'll see here what the initial amount was. And if you go to the foreclosure tab, you'll see the current known debt. This is a probate, so you'll have the probate information here the probate information, the representative's information, and the attorney's contact information. A probate, you would usually contact the attorney. So that's why ReFX provides you with all the contact information for the attorney. We also in system, as you may know, have properties, have information for tax delinquent properties, um, if you have professional dialer, you have also open violation uh, search. You can do open violation searches. So if you're looking for tax delinquent properties and there is information on tax delinquency, you would have an additional tab here with the tax delinquency information. In this case, this one is not a tax delinquent. That's why I don't have the tab here. And this is property does not have an open violation. So I don't have that information here. So depending on the information available for the property, I'll have more or less tabs here. Let's do a little search for, let's take up probate and let's leave pre foreclosed and select open violation, yes. So I can show you that here. If I click on this one, now I have an open violation tab that will show me the open violation information. Uh, in this case, this one has an expired permit, alleged violation, expired permit for residential remodel, an abandoned permit for windows and doors. Please feel free to just type in your questions here in the chat section if you have any questions. Okay, so what else do I, can I see or actually do from here from the overview of the property? I have several reports that I can create here from my overview. If you see up here, I have, first of all, the property analysis report. What this report will do is take all the information in the different tabs and put it in a neat and tidy report that I can print, uh, save, or share with someone. It will provide me with a link so I can share the information on this property with someone. If I click on it, I select with what information I want in my report, click on apply, and now I can print this report. You see, I have the property details. As I told you, it will show you the different tabs in a neat and tidy report. I have the property details, the comparables, the active comparables, rental comps, and the foreclosure information. This I can print or I can save. Let's go back. Then I have the BPO report, <coughs> sorry. The BPO report will take only comparables and active comparables. And again, put it in a neat and tidy report that I can save or share. I click on apply and it will show me all the, my subject property compared to the properties that 
are in my comparable. So I have the distance, build a value, property type, tax value, address, number of bedrooms and bathrooms, last sale, listing number, pool, waterfront, year built, foreclosure, and that, that will be for all the properties that I have in my comparables. And then if I keep scrolling down, I will come up with the active comps. And again, it will show me the different properties that I have active for sale in my comparables. Again, I can print or save this report. Then I have the x-ray report. Hi. The x-ray report is somewhat of an analysis of the market in this particular area around my property or the property that I'm looking at. It will show me total properties that are in the area compared to the rest of the county, distressed properties in this area compared to the rest of the county, pre-foreclosed properties compared in this area compared to the rest of the county, upside down, not in foreclosure, active for sale, owner occupied, not occupying, with all the graphics of all those items that I just mentioned. Total pre foreclosed, pre foreclosed with less than 0% equity, pre foreclosed with more than 0% equity, pre foreclosed with more than 30% equity. I have total foreclosed, active for sale and not active for sale, upside down, not upside down. Total property sold in the last six months, average sold in the last six months, total active for sale, months of inventory, average days in the market. So the, that's what the x-ray report is, is a bit of an analysis of the market and the type of properties and the condition of the properties in the area. And again, I can print it and save. If you want to know a bit more about reports in ReFX, please go ahead and go to the help section in your control panel. If you go to the help, your control panel, here you have the help section. And there you can look up reports and you can see uh, some tutorial videos and what they are and how to create them. And also in webinars, if you click here on webinars, you can go to previous webinars where you can look up any particular thing that you want to look at. In this case, I'm talking about the reports. You can look up one that the title is about reports and you can watch the webinar. So let's go back to the overview and keep on going. If you are a DREA mentor student, you have active this Freddie investor button. If you're not a DREA, this is not a icon or a feature that ReFX per se provides. This is something that DREA, uh, the Miami-Dade uh, Realtors Association provides for their mentor students. And what this does is takes the comparables, the active comparables and the listing price of a property to calculate an offer based on an offer factor that you select. If you are a mentor student and you want to calculate the, the offer that you're going to make on this property, just click on that and that will calculate the offer for you. Again, if you want to know more about the Freddie Freddy button, we call it, but it's actually called Investor Offer. Uh, feel free to give us a call, schedule a coaching, or just look up the video on it and you'll learn all about it. Then we have follow up. What is this? If I looked at this property, I'm really interested in, I want to make an offer on it, I want to start working with it. If your account is professional, professional dialer, you have access to the follow-up, you can send this property to your follow-up. 
you will click add property and send it as buying because that's what you're going to try and do. If your account is platinum, you will not have access to, to the follow-up. So you will not have that option. So I add the property to my follow-up and the property has been successfully added to my follow-up. Remember that as a ReFX subscriber, you have complete access to Deal Generator. Deal Generator is an app that you can download on your phone and it's used for driving for dollars. So if you actually want to get in your car and visit properties and go knock on the door, that's the Deal Generator is the application mm -hmm. ideal for that. So you can look for properties here in the ReFX, in your ReFX account, send them to the, your deal generator, and then open the, your deal generator. And what it does is help you map out the route to actually go to the property, having at hand all the information on the property. Again, if you want more information about deal generator, feel free to give us a call and schedule a coaching or go to previous webinars about Deal Generator and learn all about Deal Generator. Mailing campaign. Remember that ReFX also has a mailing campaign uh, feature integrated into it. In this case, this property is for sale, so you would actually contact the agent by email. But if prop, uh, the Mailing campaign is usually used for properties that are not on the market and you have to contact the owner. Not You will not always have access to an email for the owner. So the only way to contact them is through their mailing address that you will always have available. The mailing address of the owner. So you can create a mailing campaign, print out the letter, put it in an envelope and send it by regular mail. That way you can talk to your mailman. So from here, I can send this particular property to a mailing campaign. However, the mailing campaign is best used directly from results. Well, in this case, I only have two properties for results, but what I would do is select click on mailing campaign, give a name to this campaign and send it to mailing campaign. Again, if you want to know more about mailing campaigns and sending of postcards, we also have a postcard service that the postcards are sent for you. Uh, again, go to the help section and learn a little bit about it. Give us a call, schedule a coaching, open a chat. Remember that you have the chat you can open a chat any moment. We're ten that chat from Monday through Friday, from nine in the morning till six afternoon. If you type your question there, we'll try to answer as soon as we see it. If you are working off hours or on weekends, just leave your question there, and we'll try to answer it as soon as we come in next day. So let's go back to the overview. I can print and save this overview. I print it or I can save it. Let's save this and show you where to retrieve anything that you save that applies for the uh, reports when I save a report. And for this particular, if I want to save the overview, I give it a name. I We'll give a name, webinar property. Uh, today is 20, May 20. Okay, so it was successfully saved. I close here and if I, if I wanna see where it is, I go to my control panel, clicking on the green little house in the top left corner and go to documents. And there the first one is the one I just saved. I can open it and there I have it. 
Okay, I have a question here. Hello, Sarah, how are you? Uh, can you please review SAN documents? Okay, that's actually not something that we were going to cover here in, the, in this webinar, but yes, I can give you a little overview of it. And if you still have questions about it, we can please feel free to give us a call and schedule a coaching. So let's go back to ReFX and let's go to the overview. So actually, that's what I wanted to show you about the overview today. Remember, when you do a search and you get your results, you're able to go to the overview just clicking on the property. If you have properties in your follow-up, you can also see the overview of the properties in your follow-up. Remember, only if you have professional, professional dialer will you have follow-up. The properties in your follow-up, if you click once on them, you will open this little window. And in this window, the second option is go to overview. Just as I did before from the results, from here, I can go to the overview and see all the information, the details, comparables, active comparables, distress comps, rental comps, BNB comps, foreclosure. I have the possibility of creating reports that I can save or share. I can send, well, this one is already in my follow-up, but the idea is that if you're in your results, you can send it to your follow-up. You can send it to deal generator or you can send it to mailing campaign. You can print it or you can save it. Remember that the comps are used to calculate market value and active comps are used to calculate active value. Okay, so as an answer to you, Sarah, if I have a property in my follow-up that is active for sale, let's say this first one I have here, I can I click on it. The first thing I have to make sure is that I have an offer calculated. Uh, this column, the column for off offer is the one that the system will use to fill in the contract, the offer that you're going to make. So you have to make sure actually it won't let me sign contract if that column is empty. So if I click here and send document, it tells me you cannot create this task the following properties have no offer price so it won't actually let me so the first thing you have to do is calculate an offer as i was mentioning before if you're a DREA mentor student you would use the freddie investor offer icon to calculate an offer that will take the comparables the active comparables and the listing price and uses an algorithm there to calculate the best offer that you can send to this property. If you're not a mentor student, still you can use the calculate offer button. That's this little calculator here. And let's say you want to offer 75% off the list price, round it up to 100 and click on apply. The system is calculating. And now the system calculated the offer and placed my offer there in the offer column. Now I'm ready to send my offers. You do have to have your contract. ReFX does not provide documents. If you want to send contracts from ReFX, you have to upload your own contracts. Again, if you're a mentor student from DRIA or from BRIA, they provide a contract for you and we have already uploaded in, in your system. You don't have to do anything. But if you're not a mentor student, you have to get a hold of a blank PDF. The most used contract is the as is far bar and just upload it into the system. There are videos in the help section on how to upload and edit this contract. But again, always feel free to give us a call, reach out to us, and we can help you with that. So once you have your offer calculated, 
In this case, I only selected this one, but I can send up to 50 new contracts per day. So I could select all 50. I have total selected 50 and send contracts to all of them. If I already checked all of them and I'm sure that those are the 50 contracts that I want to send. I'm not going to send it um, I like crazy, I guess. But if I have checked all 50 properties and I know that all 50 properties have the offer that I want to make, and those are the 50 properties that I want to offer on today, I can select all 50 of them. If not, I select several or just one. Once I select the one that I want to send, I click on send document, select the contract, as I said, if you're a mentor student, you will have several contracts preloaded into your system. Just select the one that applies to the type of property that you're sending the contract right now. I'm going to select this one. Then you have additional documents. The additional documents are things like the proof of funds, the addendums like the lead-based lead -based paint disclosure, or an EMD, the earnest money deposit. So you would select which ones you want to go out with your contract. And everything else the system will actually fill out for you. You don't have to fill out anything else. If I click on preview, I will actually see the contract. If I click on email, that will open this little window here for me to actually type in the email that is going to be the cover email that will go out with my contract. So here I have the cover email. Reafx has a very short, sweet, uh, hey, I'm interested in your property. Here's a great offer. But you can create your own templates or just type over the one that appears there and once you have the email just as you want it, just click and send. I'm not going to click and send because I'm actually would be sending this contract to that property and I don't have the money to buy it. If any of you, so I'm just going to close this. So again, Sarah, I hope this helped you, but if you really want to know more or need any more help, about how to send contracts, give us a call and schedule a coaching. Our coachings are completely free. You can schedule as many as you want. We offer coachings from nine in the morning till six in the afternoon from Monday through Friday. They're one-on-one. -on -one. Just be at your computer and we'll share screens with you and go step-by-step -step so you know how to do whatever you need to know that if we don't have any more questions, this is all that I wanted to show you today. It was a pleasure being with you today. Hope all of you have a great weekend and we'll see you all here next week. Bye.